but few have had as impressive credentials as Andre Rieu. Dubbed the king of the waltz, he sold over 35 million albums and is the biggest male solo touring star in the world. It's amazing, isn't it? Here he is in action. Welcome, Andre Rieu. Hello. Hello. So you're, we've left you a space there. You're normally used to people dancing in the aisles at your concerts, yes, aren't you? Always. Do you possibly yes. encourage people to get no, up? No, I dance? don't. We play the walls. <laughs> and they, they stand up and they do. And but the you know, it's. You can play da di da da, tiam tiam, and nobody will waltz. But when you ti da di da, look. That's what happens. <laughs> it is I mean, it is an amazing spectacle. The size of the, the concerts you push on. I mean, how does it? How do you get that many people and all those props and sets? around the world yeah, a lot of trucks and a lot of people a lot of boats and <laughs> did you ever believe did you ever believe it would become that no never no I, I always had a dream to travel the world with an own orchestra but the scale I, I didn't know yeah. I didn't know but it, it, it just developed I'd love to ask you how old were you when you first started playing with your fiddle Five. <laughs> Yeah. Playing with my fiddle. <laughs> That's about right. <laughs> but five. seriously, was it yeah. five years old? Yes, and How, my, yeah. my first teacher was a blonde 18-year-old girl. Oh. And that helped me a lot. <laughs> your interest for many years. Yes. 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 No, but okay, it's, it's true. I mean, when, when you have an ugly teacher. So she was very beautiful <laughs> and very <laughs> lovely. We're getting lots of, uh, of tweets from your fans, and, and one here, Maxine, she says he brings fun to classical music. Mm. He's so good. That's the key, isn't it? Sort of bringing it to the masses. And yet, a lot of classical music critics are quite snobby, aren't they, about you? Uh, not only about me. Well, yes, <laughs> they I are, mean, they they are you're snob. here to answer. You know, but in the time of Mozart, everybody whistled his tunes on the street. <laughs> <laughs> And now, suddenly, I don't know why, nobody knows why, Mozart is only for the elite. Mm. And, and that's what I wanted to change. Mm -hmm. So, the music is for everybody. Mm. And do you take it seriously if you read a bad, if you read a criticism, or do you just say, puh, and get on your private plane? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I go on my private plane, but I don't say, puh. <laughs> Your music and the staging and the production of your music is so romantic. I yeah. always feel like it's live. You, you wish you lived in that time because that's what you always portray. I am a romantic. Yeah. Ooh. Really. <laughs> <laughs> He's also been married for years. Yes. <laughs> yeah, she always has my, to ruin it, doesn't she? My new record is called uh, Roman Holiday, and my wish would be to go with all four of you. Hey. Uh, Romantic and sure. sickening. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not sure your wife Marjorie would probably want us there, would she, on your romantic weekend away? We don't tell her. Uh, you've, been, <laughs> you've been married 40, 40 years. years. Yes, 40 years. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> yes, that's her. How do, you, how do you keep a marriage so strong when you're obviously away from home a lot? Is Marjorie part of the business? Does she travel with you? How do you...? Go away a lot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's why. Right. No, but it's true. I, I mean... Of course, we worked together. I always had a dream when I was a small boy that I wanted to marry a girl with whom I would work together. And, and I think it's a perfect way of marriage mm. because people say, yes, but you, you work together, you see each other the whole day. So that's not true. I'm, I'm a lot on the road. And, but we share so much that, um, yeah, we, when we walk the dogs, we speak about the music. When we are... In bed, we speak about the music, so it's always, <laughs> it's always, <laughs> it's, it's nice. Music. And is it true you met her when you were 13 years old? Yeah. 
She yeah. was school. I was 13 and she was 15. And she was in the class with my sister. And there was a Santa Claus party with all these girls. And I remember only one girl with all these curls. And that Aww. was... Uh, and, and you've got two her. adult children and they're both in the business as well? No. One, oh. the eldest is a painter. And the younger one is in the business. He's oh. the vice president of my company. Fantastic. And it's yeah. an amazing business. Um, and you're here because you're going to do a tour in the UK, starting yes. in Belfast on yeah. the 3rd of December. And you're here for what, three or four weeks? Yeah, the, 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 whole December, the whole December we go all over the place. And, and yes. are the British audiences good for you? Oh, and it's Do they fantastic. dance in the aisles as well? It's the best audience in the world. Yeah. And I don't say because I'm here. <laughs> Oh, well, it's lovely. It's always good to see you. So the album is called Roman Holiday, and that's out now. And the UK tour, as I say, is on uh, during December. Have a look on our website for the dates. Thank you very much. Andre Rio, everybody. OK, see you on the own. Tomorrow, Colleen's future daughter-in-law, Jessie, will be here. Oh. Yeah. Along with her bandmates at Little Mix, of course. How's she feeling about becoming part of the Nolan family? Oh, can't wait to hear that one.